what was not in focus? My eyes? I feel like he's just a cardboard cutout of himself with the eyes missing. Oh my god. The animal sandwiches. That's terrifying. Don't say that. I need my eyes. Well, your, it's either your eyes or your hands, Lee. You choose. Why are we choosing like that? Alright, I can cut off both. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of We Talking About. Today, we're talking about the second to last episode of I Zombie. Episode 12, I Zombie. AKA episode 12. Season, season 1. Season 1. <laughs> I was just going to say season 1. You keep saying it. Why do you keep saying it? Because oh, we're almost at season 2. We are almost at season 2. Alright, so uh, I, I didn't hate this episode. I didn't hate it either, Stefan. It, it, so it, it's, it's keeping its trend of being an, a show I don't hate anymore. This is awful. We may have to watch season 2. Might have to watch season 2. Depending on how this last episode goes. Yeah. So, uh, where did we start on this episode? We started on the beach. Homeboy washed up on the beach when we op we have to see him open his eyes again. Yes. And he was gonna and and it's gonna be about him, I guess, right? Yeah. Just just to recap, last episode ended with this like, holy shit, Liv was crazy because of the crazy brain, and like Major didn't she didn't really tell Major anything. Yes. Blah, 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 but Major blah, blah, knows, blah. and Major's on a death. He thinks kill he knows. Mission. Yeah, and he's on a fucking retarded mission from God to kill these zombies or whatever. Yeah, and, um, and he got, like, real serious, and, and we find out that Liv was <laughs> like, like, okay, I understand, I support, blah, blah, and didn't, didn't tip her hand just I yet. don't like that all happening off camera. I see why they did it like that, but that's I'm, like, like, very upset. That's the kind of shit, like, in, like, any movie where it would be, like, so me and you were characters in this movie, right? And I'd be like, I know what you did, and I'm going I'm gonna, to I'm gonna make sure everybody knows it. And then a commercial and, would happen. And I go... And it would come and back, it and, it, and then it would be a different scene. You're like, you're like, that couldn't have ended there. That doesn't make any no, sense. I know. I totally know. But and that's what this is. I feel like when, when like shows and movies do this, it's like, well, then what would he have said? Wait, he would have let you explain. All? Well, no, he would. And they go, just don't film it. Just don't film it. Just say, I told, I told yeah. him about, I told him about the plan. It's like, and he didn't ask about the dead guy or this or nothing. Like, why would he come with you? That's crazy. Who's this person? What? And it's like, just fucking whatever. Yeah, off camera, off camera. So, um, he his, he's committed to killing them all. And such. <laughs> he doesn't know anything yet. But the guy who washes up on the shore comes up. I love this part. He gets hit by a car, and it's full of, like, teens. And it's the I know what you did last yes. summer moments. And <laughs> it's literally – and they ruin it by mentioning it, I think, twice later on. Yeah, they, but, they did rub it in. But for the beginning, I was so happy, and I was literally like, I think this show is getting good. Because they don't just say like, – like, in the beginning, they don't, like, give away, like, uh, like the reference, but they yeah. have – like the like stereotypical douchebag like group of kids making like the dumb remarks uh -huh. and the car and the shit and then they have the We're guy. We're not telling anybody. Yeah, we take this. T he, he he doesn't say we take this to our graves because I think Scary Movie used that phrase, but he says something like that. You can't tell anyone, and it goes through this whole fucking thing. And like the way they they like cut it and like shoot it, it, it like felt like I know what you did last summer. No, it, it was fine. I was super into it. And uh, I was like, this is a fucking achievement. I thought they were all gonna die right there. Yeah. I didn't realize that it was gonna turn into our mystery for the week. But, yes. But that was a fine little uh, little play. I was so happy. The show's doing these things now, and I'm like, fuck. It's like it's the material is getting elevated or whatever. But so they like bury him. They bury him in a shallow grave, unmarked. As per instructions, which was great too, because that's more the kind of like making fun of the horror. Like, did you see he, they whatever. dug the hole with like a frisbee and a helmet? <laughs> I wasn't focusing on that, but later on, I did wonder, like, hey, a minute, because that always uh -huh. comes up. We have to dig a hole and like yeah. you know, carry shovels around. Uh, but his hand pops out, right? He's coming back. Yeah, hand pops shit. out, and he gets the Catholic schoolgirl. Yeah, and uh, bam, she's dead. <laughs> Yeah, kills the, uh, the, the the ditzy one, of course, and the rest of them go running away or whatever the fuck, right? Uh, what yeah. Uh, they do a cool, dumb, like, like the, be the, the intro was so cool to me this time. They do that, like, pan up while it's night, and then it becomes day, and they pan down, and it's like the scene or yeah. whatever, which I'm a sucker for. It's so easy, I guess, to do that, but I love that. That's like when they pan up to a security camera, and they pan down from a security camera to a different location. I like those right. things. Right, weird, like, transitions instead of just dumb, like, My only cuts. issue with, like, just, like, the standard of the plot here is, is mm -hmm. like, they also now had nothing to hide. They could have said, we hit somebody. He murdered our friend. <laughs> like, you don't have yes. to say you buried him. <laughs> right. Um, and he did and I wasn't murder Trump's everything else, so. And he stole that car. I don't know. I guess they just ran away. They sort of make a reference to it later, but I'm not sure how they got back or how far away they were or what happened yeah. or whatever. Well, I'm sure they ran to the car you just didn't see. He, they said he stole that car. Yeah. 
like from them. So where? So, so how did they get? Oh, that? he stole that car. Didn't That's he? what I thought. Oh, I didn't catch that part. I don't know. All I remember was that car was stolen. Period. Well, they stole it originally, but I think yeah. he stole it from them. Hmm. I don't know though. But no, so this was a decent episode. Um, what what would happen? I'm trying to think of linearly what happened next. Linearly, so like, uh, you know, then like, you know, there's a there's a dead girl and she's dismembered and her head. Yeah, oh yeah. So it open, opens up when so they Ravi, find the and then body. It's the usual like we go to the crime scene case. She says like Ravi, like Major's fucking crazy. He wants to kill. All these things. He knows, but I, I didn't tell him. I just told him I will test the brains and see if they're human. Yeah. Which they never mention again. Whatever. And they're just you know just to buy some time or whatever. Which I don't think they will ever mention again because you're not gonna that that's irrelevant at this point. No. But the 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 play would have been like immediately saying, "Oh, that's goat." Like, yeah, you would have been able to do something with that, but they didn't do anything with that, so I don't know. Plus, he had like coolers of brains. They didn't show him with the stolen astronaut brains, right? Because the astronaut only had one brain. Like, I know yes. I know astronauts well, are smart people. He had people. prepared meals. That's what I'm so, saying. So like, you could have easily said that was that, like you know, anything. Yeah. Because but major didn't. Major had coolers of brains. I thought. No, no, he had he had the the prepared meals of the astronauts' brains. That's all that was. Yeah. Because I thought. At the end of the last episode, he said, like, it, it's full of human brains or something like that. Yeah, and it is. I know what you mean, but, like, I thought he stole coolers of separate actual human brains. But if it was nothing but the from prepared stuff. From what I get from yeah. uh, Stabby McNeck guy, yeah. that was the, the astronaut brain. I knew he stole that, too. I thought they just weren't being clear mm -hmm. about what was in there because they never opened it or whatever the fuck. But whatever. Because yeah, he, had, he had, what, he had five things. Yeah, 200, yeah he said a million dollars, so it was $200,000 a pop. That's five brains. That's five, like, servings. Five, yeah. And okay, that's what I like holding. that, then. So then it's even easier to just tell Major it's not a thing. Exactly, because they're, they're diced, they're cooked, they're this, they're that. Ugh. Whatever. So she's going to have to eat this girl's brain. Yep, she has it in a Mexican milkshake. This girl's a, 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 a ditzy, like, cheerleader type girl. Yeah. And I was and dreading I, what would happen when she I, ate this I brain. I liked it a little bit. Did you? I thought, I, I, like, I like her, because in certain brains, she does, she turns something on. And she does feel different to me. So like, okay. So like that, like did see whatever else. I was like, all right, she's she's doing that. But it was when she took the next brain this episode. So she, she uh, someone else dies, mm. and they're of the stoner variety, and and the face she was doing, okay. was like was like really like like that. It looked like a dude who had just smoked a lot. Like interesting. Like it, it like. I have a, a a friend I went to high school with who like did that exact face like where I'm like sure. yep that's what he looked like. <laughs> I so I was very turned off by like I do think that she performs them like well or something mm -hmm. like that but I don't like uh, and like because I thought about this more after watching this because because like we know we're just gonna do shit out of order or whatever but yeah, like fuck it. she fucking like this is the one of the one of the only times she like switches back and forth yes. which I liked a lot. But, like, I don't like knowing before she eats the brain exactly what she's going to do and how she's going to act. Part yeah, of, like, well, we usually don't know the body too well beforehand. Yeah, yeah, we usually have never met the person yeah. or whatever, right? But here we did, which kind of took away from it a little, I guess. And, like, I guess this is too much to ask for slash nitpicking, but I kind of want I want her to, like, eat the brain of someone and, like, have us think, well, she's going to say like and um a lot, but then have it be different. Where you, yes. where you, where, like... You find out another dimension about the character because now she's interpreting what she's feeling through. You know, I want what's like, also more. weird and and like kind of telegraphed in this show. So like, she eats the the brain of the cheerleader and gets peppy and cheery, right? And I'm I'm like okay, but like when she ate the brain of somebody else, she didn't like take on their personality. She just gained the ability to speak Russian or like became I a know. klepto. Yeah. So it's not consistent in what she's getting. Like because uh, sometimes it seems like it kind of overrides her and she has no control over it. Yeah. And sometimes it seems like it's only there a little bit and it, as the plot like demands exactly. or whatever. The, but I would have loved her because like that stoner guy played guitar and like witnessed the, like the girl he was trying to get with like die and he you know like the cheerleader might have been really in secure deep down and just covering it up with the like, you, you, there were yeah, all there, these other things right there's a lot of layers right? gone with but, but but it was just like yeah bro and like hey what's that and it was just it was just like you the shallow pot <laughs> yeah and I'm like making an apple bomb <laughs> like, what? what is there pot in his brain that she's eating cuz why is she already a stoner cuz that guy's a stoner because of all the pot right i don't know well she had the lollipops is that what's happening <laughs> yeah which is crazy that Peyton would give her drug lollipops or whatever i don't know yeah because she was also acting that way before. I, things like that. I'm kind of like, I don't know. What is a white elephant? <laughs> oh, God. Where, where does that come up? She's like, I got those. I got some uh, some edibles that I got from a white elephant gift. 
And I'm like, what the hell's a white elephant? I have absolutely no idea. I took those to be those like narcotic, you know, lollipops that that they give you that have shit in them when you go for like surgery, but you don't want to get injected or take like a whatever. Uh, I have to Google what like white Valium elephant lollipops. Is. I don't know. I do remember not knowing what the fuck that was. It, it struck me because it was a word that I'm like, oh, people know that. Like tiki trays is something I learned not too long ago. And I was like, what the tiki? fuck is that? Um, tiki trays is like you, you make – I don't even remember now. But like you okay. make gifts and people like bid on them. or uh, Tricky tray. Uh, tricky tray is whatever. <laughs> um, See, I know everything else, but I don't know this is, is, is the main thing. White elephant gifts. No, 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 no. This, this is, this is a, a list of ideas – for what you should do, but nothing. nothing, nothing if you know a white elephant who needs a gift, like this is what you would look up. Um. Well, so she has the the and she's like a fucking DA. What is she again? She's a. Uh, yeah, she is the prosecuting attorney. Yeah, where whatever you the think fuck. she just would have disposed of anything Something that like you seems know like is it's illegal. Kind of risky. I don't know, but like. Ah, you, so, it, it's a it's a it's a form of Yankee swap. So like everyone brings gifts and you sw and like are rotated and swapped Yankee about. Yankee swap. Yeah. Yankee okay. swap. So now we know what a white elephant party is. Uh, so you put keys in a bowl. Yeah, and you go home with a present. Sex with an elephant. <laughs> um. So when she's eating the brains and doing all these things, I wanted there to be like the one part that got me was when she she like she goes <laughs> and like laughs and stuff and it's like what because he's like come in have a seat and she doesn't sit and then I you know like like live laughs and goes, she's totally still standing or whatever yeah. that like got me but everything else I found myself very much like I don't know like I'm glad they had two th you know <laughs> this episode because neither one was great whatever the fuck but I love the idea of finally of them getting into like yeah, having to rotate and like swapping out and being like okay and because something happens and she like throws out the, the like drug lolly pop and says i have to get my shit straight we have to like you know do the plan fuck this Whew, let's do yeah. this i need i need i need the other brain back and all that stuff which i'm like okay the idea that no one ever calls her on her shit we're like why are you you're are you emotionally damaged you're constantly a different person like <laughs> so that was the thing too where like uh she actually did hear once because i I, I, I had the exact same thought, and they don't really call her on it, but she does kind of, you know, Peyton kind of goes like, so I guess that's, you know, like spinning classes off, yeah. <sighs> fine, or whatever the fuck. And she kind of feels that, like, like, like disappointed, like her emotionally damaged friend. They had like a moment the night before, yeah. and now it's like, okay, uh, fuck me, I forgot, you're this like mess, here you go. But at least Peyton knows like, like her backstory, goes, okay, you went through a traumatic yeah. experience, but fucking Davino <laughs> should be like, the fuck is wrong? you he makes some comments here but between this and like directly last episode yelling at vending machines and bags yeah. and stuff i'd be like something I, I can't keep bringing you on these things if you're gonna yeah. act like this like fuck but if it's crazy but gets results is it crazy it is it is still crazy oh it's okay liability, it's yes. still alive you still go to jail for that <laughs> you okay. still go to jail for being crazy still illegal okay uh so the rat's name is hope and it's dead yeah that was a little sad he just bought what a you, present what do you like wrapped <laughs> what, what, what do you like rats now uh, I like I like rats in his cage. Well, and it was probably was part of the plan for the cure and all that. It was a business. weird little puppet rat too. <laughs> like l like the dead rat was like a yeah. stuffed rat from a thrift store. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. What are you gonna do? And the hair or whatever. They question uh, the dead girl's friend who was the drummer in the band. Totes. Uh, no, no, her not not the drummer in the band. The other chick. Yeah, the yeah. her actual like cheerleading friend or something like that. They play a message on the phone. And it's slumber ch chunder by the ass hats. Yes, but that <laughs> interaction between the the young girl and uh, and uh, yeah. Liv, that was where I was like, I was like, okay, I okay. see what you're doing here. She she was like pulling that off for me. I was like, I was like, okay, because yeah. they, they're back and forth. And it was probably, and it wouldn't have worked if that other girl wasn't like a good actress too. Mm. Like it played it played it back worked. as like a girl conversation. I thought I would describe it as saying like it worked. And even then, you could see like. It's not that it totally overrides her personality because she struggles with like a little bit. Because she was saying like, "Oh, you know, I will not personally tell him, but he may find out." I just want you to know and all that stuff. And you were like, "Okay, yeah, cool," because yeah. she's because she's like riding the okay, whatever. Okay, as long as you don't tell her dad, I won't tell him, but he might find out. <laughs> well, I won't tell him, but he might find out. And she, and like not and just like a real. It does feel real. It doesn't feel that whatever. Like I said before, I just wanted like more out of it or something like that or whatever the fuck. Um. Major's the health inspector. Yeah, Major has gone off the deep end. He's gone back to the, our meat place where he knows brains come from, and he wants to get a closer look. So he's investigating uh, in a very uh, – what he thinks is convincing way. It's and, pretty uh, good. It's he's pretty laying it on it's thick, and that's uh, how shit happens. It's pretty fucking dumb. 
But they don't show you when he gets into the back, and I'm like, what did the back look like? Did they had they cleaned up? Were there not brains everywhere? Like, what happened? Yeah, they kind of like uh, just breezed by that. But I was very much like, and this is that dumb thing. I I'm, I made a note of of calling Tina at the district. Like, did he actually know, or is he bluffing? Is that a real thing? Why did Could Blaine be. react that you way? You know how she is. But how did he know that? If if and how did he know Blaine knew that? Even if he did know that, how did he find that out? Did I miss a whole part? I, of the I show? assumed it was a total bluff, and. Uh, you would just roll with it? I guess, but Blaine was just, like, fine or something, but didn't have a plan there, and the health inspection just, like, proceeded, I guess, and then he left. Yeah. Like, okay, see ya? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's with fucking his, crazy. With photos of their exit sign? Yeah. Felt totally unnecessary and weird. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to feel tension. Like, are they going to find out what happens? So, like, that but, like, felt weird, but what felt much weirder was when they talked about it later and through a mild description of, like, he had nice eyes. Wait a minute, did he have good hair, too? Yeah. That's a person I know. <laughs> like, I was actually... So that was equally dumb, if not more that so. That was dumb. way dumber, way dumber. Um, well, I mean, like, that was, like, the other half of the dumb thing that began earlier for no reason. It seemed very strange. Because later when Julian, like, brings him in and says, this is the guy, like, it takes him an awkwardly long amount of time to list all of the reasons why he tied this guy up or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. So, like, he didn't need to also be the health inspector from, from like, yesterday. He could have just been the guy asking about brains, who shot me, yeah. who uh, fucking was snooping around, who used to he be He already tried Liv, to kill him. There was, was, there was no the more thing, needed. Right, yeah. there's literally no reason to do the health inspector thing. Uh, so the whole time I was just like, I guess this show is bad. I, 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 I thought it was good in the beginning of the episode. But they played up. Now? They played up this thing where you think something like like large is gonna happen because the major buys more guns. Yeah. Major's like, all right, I need this. He has like some sort of a shotgun with like extended clip. Can he, we talk about why he buys that? Because he's on YouTube. Yeah. How this is how you kill a zombie and he's something with stopping power. And then they someone shoots someone on YouTube or something. Was that like a was that meant to be a fake? I don't, I don't know, know what's what going that on was. anymore. But uh, but he buys like like you know a, like you a might, powerful yeah. revolver, a shotgun, and a grenade. Maybe it's hinted that he I may did, have a grenade. I liked that. I like the guy that sells the guns. Right. I, I enjoyed him. He's like, you maybe have any interest in a grenade? And he's just like, mm -hmm. I like the guy selling the guns because it it like reminded me of Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they have like when <laughs> when they go to buy crack in episode like uh -huh. three or something like that and like the drug dealer was like I don't know like a hundred and they're like okay that seems fair because this guy must Would just like be one like, crack rock please one crack please or whatever because this guy is just trying to sell major guns to like make money and now he's just like you want anything else flamethrower maybe like whatever fuck uh -huh. this guy is an idiot he's buying all sorts of weird shit you're not gonna what are you gonna do with this all right fine want something else how much ammo I've yeah, more ammo. This is doing this whole like dumb yeah. thing. I like that vibe from him. I wonder what he spent. He didn't say the price. I was. I'm always. They leave that out usually, but I'm. I, I, I love agree. What, hearing what people in in film think things cost. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't sell, so we don't know. But yeah, it was a weird thing. But and then fruitless because uh, he's caught. Unless this is yeah. part of his plan. Well, now that you've pointed out the grenade again, I do think the grenade is somehow going to play into it or some shit like I think that. It's in his anus. It's probably in his anus, and he's going to shit that. He's he's going to hatch that egg, uh, and fucking uh, that's how they'll like run out, and then something will happen or something. Um, they go back to the storage unit rehearsal space, yeah, and it's trashed. Yep, trashed. They and, questioned and the so the band there before, but somebody's now dead now. There's a dead guy there, and that's, and that's where she gets the stoner's, the brain, stoner's brain, which we've there. covered already. Um, uh, Clive eats a slice of uh, a bite of a slice of brain pizza. Yeah, what is this mushrooms? I'm not a fan of that. She's like, oh, I'll finish I don't it. like the texture or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. Not to nitpick. That's fine, I guess. I don't know why you would eat a slice of pizza that was taken out of the box already and put to the side. On doesn't a napkin, yeah, yeah. You could grab a regular doesn't slice. Doesn't that mean it's someone's slice or whatever? Yeah. That seems I don't rude. understand why, like, people that just eat pizza if someone's anyway. That that was always a pet peeve of mine when, like, like a group of us would buy pizza, and mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so four of us bought pizza, four of us chipped in, we Two each Two slices get, each. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and then someone would walk by and the girl someone, I'm like, fucking kidding me? I'm like, that wasn't one of my slices. I don't know which one of these motherfuckers you were taking <laughs> I from. I don't know. You're going to have to work it out with them, because I'm taking my two slices right now and getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Make it quick. Fight. Um, fuck that fuck. Pizza eating motherfucker. He made an, uh, another zombie rap back at the place. While I rap. thought you wow. said rap, and I was like, what did I miss? Look at Merkin. Yeah, so he's, he's, uh, on the he's, he's processing. He has enough to do one more, and he's going to give it a little less of the antidote and hope for a uh, better outcome. Yeah, so like the subplot, the sub subplot about looking for the cure is still marching forward, and he's going to do some more research on the new rat or whatever. Which we might have uh, 
I was hoping to show for it in the last episode, like the, probably the last minute of the last episode. In the finale, yes. Uh, so, Major How to Kill a Zombie, Major Buying Stuff, Health Inspector. Health Inspector, he was a catalog model. You should have seen him flirting with me. Um, did he have good hair? And then Blaine actually says, uh, why are we on this bizarre segue? What, yeah. Can we focus on the uh, task at hand? And I, I kind of like Blaine. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like he's bad, but I kind of like him. Is that no, I like I like parts of him. I like I parts know. of him, and I I do like that he abruptly ended that, and I like that the the guy the the muscle dude I like yeah. went on his own and and, yes. and caught him. I'm like okay, no, I do. I totally agree. Because I I think I I've, I've gone on record. I like that muscle dude. I think he he yeah. has some funny stuff going on there. It's not like good, but he's not terrible. Well, and like the face he makes when Blaine shuts him down, they kind of hang on that. And I was like, yes, this yeah. is okay. What's happening here? I like this. I like what's happening. This is this is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Liv's getting high with an apple. Awful description of her vision. Uh, she's totally still standing. Stoner girl shows up. I know what you did last summer. They mentioned I know what you did last summer. It ruins everything. Yeah. From early. They mention it, make fun of it, and say, you saw that? They should make a third one. They did make a third one. Did they? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this I'll is always know what you did last summer. Well, in here she says, it should be like I totally still know even fucking... Her, her, like, I don't know. I hated a lot of the stuff that she was doing as a stoner and just in general. I just like the way, like, they hung her, like, her eyes hung. It was, I was like, yeah. Like, yes, her performance is okay. I think it's, like, the dialogue then. Well, yeah, most people give you shit. Like, a lot of bad. Something is bad. Bad is because it's bad. Thing. Like, when something doesn't sound natural when you say it, it's not necessarily you're a bad actor. It's that you're given words that don't sound like a person like you would say. Case in point, uh, episode one, what's her name? All of her dialogue. I don't she's know what talking about, she's like yeah. an Oscar-winning actress now. I forget her name too. The Black Swan chick. Her name is Black Swan yes. chick. The chick from the Black Swan. Thin. In episode one, brunette. Isn't that her? I'm gonna feel really stupid so. if it's not her. Who did she play? Queen Amidala. Who did she play in this? She wasn't in this. She was in a Black Swan and that. I'm, the, I'm citing an example of someone that was given horrible dialogue. But didn't she say like in episode one of uh, Star Wars? Oh, oh, I was Queen thinking Amidala. episode one of it. Kira Knightley. That's not her. Uh, it's the other one the who looks one. like Kira Knightley. I almost Anne said Anne Hathaway. Kira. No. <laughs> That's also not her. Um, the point is... Uh, 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 Anna Paquin. That's, no, you've named several people that aren't her. But those are all good Wait, examples which, which one's Anna Paquin? of famous people. That's the chick from True Blood. Anna Paquin? Yeah, slash, slash rogue. Hmm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Old lady was murdered with no brains. She comes in, you know, into the morgue. They say, there's another zombie on the loose. What are we going to do? We're going to have a problem. Liv throws away the lollipop. She switches, and she switches back to cheerleader shakes. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what you need when there's a killer on the loose. And, uh, I like that they saved that weird, uh, like, mush brain and, like, yes. didn't just dispose of it. Um, this goes back Natalie to Natalie Portman. <laughs> Natalie Portman, of course. I googled not Kira Knightley. <laughs> <laughs> Kira Knightley plays the like double yes. who dies instead of her because she looks so much like her. Yep. Okay, and and Kira Knightley said that that uh, Natalie Portman was very rude to her on set. I'm sure. When I watched that movie <laughs> the first time, I assumed the same person played both those characters. I actually I don't even know. If I didn't even realize. In that scene, she was playing her or not, but wh when they're both there, it's the other girl, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Fucking who is it? Star Wars, what are we talking about? Whatever. So now we're, now we're down to, like, the ending parts of the episode. Yes. Right, we've gotten through the main chunk of, like, shit, right? And now mm -hmm. we're, like... So this case actually sort of goes unsolved in the eyes of the, of the, of the police for, the, like, one of the first times, I think, right? No. They don't know who uh, who who killed these teenagers, really, though, right? They know it was the oh, blonde they man say that, it was that lived there. That's true. That's true. Okay, but that's the so Sebastian's there. Uh, yes, w with Peyton and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I told I totally missed that up. Yeah, uh, you did. So so he looks horrible. He's he's all blonde and scarified and just uh, knocked out Peyton, and now he's cooking some brains. You're led to believe he may be cooking Peyton's brains, uh, but he's I thought not. he literally looked l looked ridiculous, and I hated it so much. Yeah. Because he didn't look white. He looked blonde and weird and was weird looking. And his scars were kind of healing, but not really. I thought it was, he looked ridiculous. And, and, and it made me go like, what? And like, I shitty. don't think the scars would heal because they happened before he was a zombie. Yeah, but they were not open anymore either. Well, yeah, they, they wouldn't be open. Nah, I'm just saying. 
they would they would heal, but he would, I don't think it would go away. Regardless, oh, dumb. so uh, they get into a fight, an interesting fight. It actually was kind of like, oh, what's going to happen here? The fight was not bad, I thought. They Multiple get stabbed stabs and, stuff. and cuts and this and that. At one point, everyone's got knives through their hands and all this different shit yeah. or whatever the fuck. Uh, real quick, though, he mentions that, like, his aunt Edna had cut herself before he eats her brain, and that's who was in the morgue or whatever the fuck, which is crazy to me. Well, I didn't remember. I didn't remember. Edna was in the morgue. I thought. I assume that that that's the ninety-one-year-old woman that was killed earlier. And oh, oh no, 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 you're right. You're right. You're they didn't right. spell it out, but but I'm they they lead you to believe that. Yeah, yeah. But I thought it was so like I don't know like how was he there in his weird zombie decrepit state or something and like she cuts herself and asks for his help and that's how he eats her brains wouldn't he have just eaten her brains like why did they add all this extra well detail he had just to eaten a, a, like a catholic school girl and he was he was back he was he was like himself again and then he was helping her and then himself. the you know the blood he couldn't help himself or whatever or at least that's what he said that's what he said i thought it was an unnecessary and insane detail it was um, but it just it, it just went to drive home that lives like I've never killed my friends. I'm a good person. You're I've a never, bad person. That's I've why you never did that. Eaten Fuck anyone you. that I didn't want to. And then they fight, not. and uh, she ultimately kills him. She wins the fight. Um, she sort of holds back a little, and eventually becomes full blown zombie yeah. mode and beats him. So much like in Fast and the Furious, see, he hit the Nas too soon. She hit it at just the right time, and she was able to win. Too soon, Junior. Peyton. Saw the whole thing happen. She woke up. She freaks out, doesn't want to hear it. Uh, she goes to get her some antiseptics for her her cut on her head. Yeah. And when she comes back, Peyton's gone. Peyton also stands up Ravi. <laughs> yeah, well, so, you know, later she, you know, uh, later Liv tells Ravi all this. And he says, we were about to go away on vacation and shit. Like, I will fucking uh, find yeah, we, her. We're going away you know, tonight. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Peyton is MIA. How do you feel about this? Do you, think we're, do you think it's possible that we never see Peyton again? No, no, we'll see okay. her in the next episode. I, I hope think. we do. What I what I do want to know is so right after this, you see back at the hotel room with the, like the drummer. I got a text. Meet me at blah blah. blah. Okay, are we and done talking about Peyton then? I think so. Do okay. you have anything to say about Peyton? I don't know. It was really weird that she left like that. They had such like a. Whatever I understand the fuck. that she would leave. I understand it too, but it doesn't like make sense in the same way that fucking yeah, but whatever. The nothing. Fuck. Think. Put yourself in her, in her shoes for a minute. You just realize that nothing you know makes sense. The dead walk the earth. People are eating brains. You're the person you trust the most in life has been near you for the last whatever. Yeah. Could have killed you at any time. I know all that, but like on, on like this show, like where does she go? Like what's happening? Hotel what room. The fuck is uh, old boyfriend's house? Uh, yes, she could go anywhere, literally. But I mean, like I don't know. It seems really weird how much she's been standing by her through all of her dumb shit and all that stuff, and now she like skips out right in the middle of crap, and she knows that crap is but bad. But this crap is so different. Like if I'm if her. I'm your boy and I'm taking I'm, I'm helping you through like your alcohol problem, and then I find out you're actually a murderer. My help might stop. <laughs> I suppose, yes. But I just feel like she left her in this weird lurch of, like, she like she knows there's, like, a dead person there and the cops are coming and she's a prosecutor. She knows how bad that could be. Part of me was, like, well, maybe she left because she knew that she couldn't physically handle, like, giving the fake testimony about what happened or something like maybe, that. Maybe, and Liv didn't say she was there, so that's like fine. That. That's what I mean. I kind of, like, covered that up or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. But so the drummer gets a text message. About going to this hotel, like room 233 or something. From shit. Cameron, from the last person of the four who we don't yeah. know about, who's not dead or whatever the fuck, yeah. Yes. Uh, she gets to the hotel room, and uh, TV's on, doors open, doesn't see anything, walks in, the door shuts behind her. She's like, ah! And yeah. then it cuts back to her after the credits. The very end, And yeah. she's like bleeding, reaching for the phone, hits 911, and, you know, it ends. Yeah. So you don't know what happened to her. So do you think that that was someone else with Cameron's phone, or is Cameron a zombie now? I think those are the options, right? I would imagine that Cameron somehow got scratched in that first endeavor yeah. or something, and uh, he's a zombie now. I'm or it's something too. totally unrelated and doesn't make sense at all. I was going to say, so like there's like always yeah. the Max Rager people or something. Yes. Like, we know you know something. There's always that possibility that some shit is happening that, that I don't know, like – it's 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 just as dumb though to add a whole new person or to take the person that we just added this episode and use him, because now we're gonna have another bad thing or a person or something. Like I that. wouldn't put it past um, them to not wrap this up at all, and then yeah. like season two, it's like, oh what? <laughs> oh, for the last episode, just to never address yeah. the drummer again. I guess that makes sense to leave something open, but who the fuck is that? And because like she's just bloody and stuff, right? She's not as she's not dead yet, and like a zombie would have just cracked her head open and done all that stuff. You'd think. So well, what could be happening? 
Is it Cameron? What's going on? Why is it Cameron? We didn't see him for the whole fucking episode. But it could it could pick up from the, the next thing, like right to that, in and, the and she room. somehow got Cameron locked in the bathroom after he tried to eat her brain, and uh, you know whatever. Oh, because maybe he doesn't have the like uh, coherence to fight properly. He maybe. murdered her there, though. This is very weird. I'm I don't like introducing a whole new thing so late. Unless it's yeah. gonna be a thing, and I haven't seen anyone who's like, oh, they got this like good actor guy. Maybe he's gonna be a thing or whatever the fuck. Um, I thought Sebastian was gonna be a thing that they were gonna have on the show now as some other force. Uh-huh. There, but they took yeah, they took him away like, really right? quick. I thought he could have been yeah. a fun element. And so it feels weird to expect him to be the new element and to take care of him, and then have a whole other new element like simultaneously. No, it's not perfect. We it's know not it's perfect. not Blaine because he's busy doing something else at this exact same moment. Yeah. So, well, what is going on? I don't know. Who knows? And we'll find like out that. next week. Oh. Okay. Do you have any more things? I mean, always. Uh, uh, what do you got? Liv's brother shows up with a oh, child Oh, I forgot. This is actually a thing. Yeah. No, yes. no, that, that's actually something worth saying. So, <laughs> so fucking Liv's brother shows up, and uh, fucking uh, Major can hear him through the fucking thing. He's, like, He's tied up in the back like we alluded to before. Yeah. Uh, Liv's brother, who we haven't seen in many episodes, mm-hmm. who was given a job a- a- application to the meat place that I assumed that they dropped and didn't even like like think about again until this, mm-hmm. shows up like at night to like the deli meat place to give the application, which makes no sense. It could be sense. five o'clock. Like, I don't know. It's, it's dark here at five. That felt really weird and dumb and bad that he shows up at that time. It's it, it is dumb and bad. What's dumb and bad for me is Blaine brushes them off and then he's looking like just happens to look at his emergency contacts on the sheet. Liv, is that the same Liv that works at the blah blah? Do you know her? Y- yes. Yeah. Why would his sister be his emergency contact? Why wouldn't his mother? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. It felt like he showed up after the place closed just because the plot needed him there. Yeah. It was totally crazy and strange to me. And I wanted him to say, when can you start? And for him to say, right, right, a- now. right away. And then for him to say, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> uh-huh. And just have like the episode end or whatever. Right but uh, they kind of botched that a little bit, in my opinion. Yeah. So now there's going to be two hostages. There's a force out there killing drummers or making them bloody or something. Liv is wherever the fuck she is with her hand, fake bandage, no, whatever definitely. the fuck. All these things are happening. I'm interested to see the finale could have some interesting uh, finals. I need to know what they're going to do. This episode was a roller coaster ride of like giving me all this hope and then dashing it expertly and making me think maybe the show is bad or whatever the fuck. But uh, I guess we'll see in the next episode. Until next time. We'll see you for episode 13, iZombie, season 1. Goodbye, don't die on fire.